We are always uh, very creative in producing the new ideas, and uh, we also have the capability to make the prototyping as well. Now this is the facility we have in the group uh, to make the prototyping, particularly to cut the lamination and also the magnets. And as I said, our group in Among University Research Group, we are very strong because we can make the prototype in the group. So this is one of the why you load the machine, to cut the laminations, to cut the magnet. This is John. This is a, a spark erosion machine. Um, it's a wire erosion machine that uses a fine brass wire to cut the metal. Mm. The action of the wire going through the job causes a spark onto the job. There's a voltage across the wire and there's a current passes through the metal that cuts the metal. So we're able to cut virtually any kind of metal on here as long as it's conducting. That's aluminium, steel, copper, a whole range of metals. But we cut more lam lamination and uh, magnets more than any other material because they are the two major components for our machine and the generators. Yes. In fact, we got a couple of uh, examples there. Yeah. This, uh, this is the magnet ingot. It's a needling bearing iron magnet, and we can cut the magnet out of the ingot with any shape, any shape. The nice thing is, in theory, you can buy the ingot, uh, shape, magnet with that shape directly from company, but it takes longer. But we can cut it ourselves, so much shorter. And uh, here shows another example is the lamination. In fact, this is developed for the direct drive wheelchair motor. And we did a lot of work for electric vehicles for the wheel hub direct drive motor as well. And for the one power generator, to a certain extent, in terms of topology, where the rotation part and the stationary part, this is very similar because this one is also externally rotating. Just imagine if the motor is attached to the wheel, so the wheel is spinning, so the rotor is also attached. Now for our one power application, we have the turbine directly connect to the loader. So in that sense, it's very similar. I'm not saying the machines are similar because this is so small. And the one power generator, current one, the largest one we work on is with a diameter of six meters. So it's huge. We can't even move into this loom. <laughs> yeah. Our strength is in developing the novel ideas. And also we are very strong to build the bridge between the concept and the final product. But meanwhile, while you're developing the product, you also have a lot of challenge issues to address. And uh, we are very, very strong in that case. And uh, we, as I said, our group's strength is we can have the concept then to final product operating. And uh, we, in fact, publish more than any other group in the world in the area. But meanwhile, we're still very practical. In terms of technology, we work on more electrical aircraft. We also work on electric vehicle, hybrid electric vehicle, and now renewable energy. This is also our strength, our group. So it will push the technology forward. And another thing is very important for the, uh, our graduates. And they know we have a Siemens residue in Sheffield. So it's very good for their career. A lot of students, they would like to stay in Sheffield. And before, in our specialty, we don't have a big company in Sheffield, so they can stay on. Well, certainly being a Siemens employee, I have direct contact with the development center within, within the Denmark, and which are actually based in a town called Brande. And then certainly being based at the university, I also have direct contact with Professor Sue, being the academic director of the group. And uh, so I'm literally a direct bridge between uh, both needs. And um, so this, for myself, this has been very beneficial because it puts me in a quite an important, pivotal role within Siemens. And this has uh, given me the, both the benefits of building up a, a career within a corporation whilst also being very much involved in research for wind turbine applications. It helps me build my confidence coming out of a research background. I've not had a position within a company before. So obviously coming into this role, being a link between the university, it's a good step up from doing research, which I'm very familiar with, and also taking a step into the corporate world, where I'm starting to lead projects and uh, liaising with all these different parties. It certainly is very beneficial to my career. 
I think the most important is the innovative idea and also the realization of this idea and into from design concept to the product. And then why you try to develop from the concept to product, you always have a lot of issues to solve, the challenges we have.